everyone. I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Welcome. How is everyone doing today? There we go. Hello everyone. Just trying to, oh my gosh. Nope, that's not it. I thought we definitely had it live both places at the same time. Not. <laughs> Story of my life. So how is everyone doing? Say hello when you're popping on. Let me know where you're watching from. We are going to be foiling today our newest item. This is our floral bow holder, and you can have it personalized with a name. There are flowers that are going to go up here, and we're going to foil underneath. So I've already painted and prepped. So I'm just trying to pull up the feed here. And don't know where it's at or why it's not there. I'm sorry. We will try and refresh. There we go. It's over there. All right. It just they hide it on hide it on us all the time. Hey Jeannie, how are you? Jeannie's watching from Jersey. What's the weather like? Are you getting any smoke there? We have so much smoke here. It, everything is hazy from the um, the fires in Canada. We've got a lot of... Oh, it even smells kind of smoky when you go out. I'm not a fan of smoky. I can't even see the mountain. Like, I can only see probably about five miles. And then after that, I can't see anything. It's just totally, yes, it's everywhere, definitely. All right, so I've already painted the top. I'm, I'm doing one just so you can see it, plain wood. And then I painted this one. We're gonna be using foil. So those of you that have watched me with the foil, I put some, this is my sticky plate, I call it. I put some of the foil adhesive in the plate, drop some water in it. Hey, Monica. And kind of mixed it in. So it's kind of, it's not watery, but it's not real goopy either, like glue. It's, it's kind of in between. And then I put it on the areas I want to put my foil because we have to let that set up for an hour. So... Hey, Nancy. Nancy and Monica are on. Nancy's from PA. Monica's from Texas. And Jeannie's on Facebook. She is in Jersey. And Judith is in Connecticut. Did I get that right, Judith? I think that's right. All right. We were just, Jeannie, Jeannie and I were talking. I don't know about um, Nancy and Judith, if you have it. We have a lot of smoke from the fires in Canada right now. We are, it's just like hazy and thick out there. So, all right. So I know I showed this a while back and we didn't do it yet. So today we're getting it done because like I told you on Monday night's live, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be making presents ahead of time and I need to be able to show everybody how easy they are and then you can order them in plenty of time before Christmas. This is in my shop. It's either um, kit or handmade. I can, I can do it pre-made for you. So I'm just giving you all that information. All right. So I went ahead and prepped ahead of time. Then I also went and cut my foil because they're really close together in here. So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, New Hampshire. I'm sorry, Judith. I will get that as much as I sh shipped you 
It's like I can't get it in my brain here. Um, and Nancy's out near, oh, out near the outlets in there in uh, Pennsylvania. And she's got it too. She said it's horrible there too. Hey, Jeannie. And I know the other Jeannie that just popped on, Jeannie Brooks, I know she's dealing with the same smoke we're dealing with. So it's bad. All right. So I cut, oh, these, these are the foils that Jen sent me. After I did the butterfly, she said, you need your own um, neon colors. So she <laughs> sent me a bunch of neon. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to, to do this in the neon colors. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've kind of pre-cut the foils so I can keep them off of each other. And lo and behold, I just got it on there. It's probably going to stick. Dang it. All right, I got it off, so let me trim it. So I don't want that green over there. I want the orange over there. I probably could have put some kind of um, mask on there to do this, but I thought for me this was just the easiest way. Now the green comes in this one. It's got a variety of colors through it. I thought that was real pretty. So I thought we'd use that as the leaf. I already pre-painted this white, but I'm also doing one just in the plain color to show you what it would look like if you just did it on that. Hey, Nanny Dot. Oh, see? Hi, Joanne. Yay, Joanne's on, and I can see that you're on, Joanne. Yeah, Jeannie has asthma real bad, so this is not helping the smoke. I mean, one of my dogs, Muffy, if I still had her, she would not go outside. She'd be hiding under the bathroom sink. She hates smoke. So... So yeah, it's bad. Thank heavens it's not real hot where we would have like fans going or whatever because it'd be bringing that stuff in through the air conditioners. How are you coping with it, Jeannie Brooks? Oh, see, and the other genie in um, Jersey is saying that smoke is, like, deadly out there. It's, it's just awful. All right. So, put this one here. Trim off a little here. Everything's sticking to me today, too. Like static -y, see? Now, I'm not going to rub right there on the corner because I don't want that in the pink part. And if you're ordering any of the, the uh, foils, make sure you use the link in the description because I... I do have an affiliate account. It doesn't pay much, but at least it knows, Jen knows that I'm using the foils and showing her foils. I did send her a message that we were using these today. I just thought these would be really sharp. Now this is for barrettes, it's for hair bows, it's for headbands, it's for just about anything you put in your hair. There. So, and then see these are going to go over top of 
I just haven't decided what color we're going to do my granddaughter's name in. Look at that. That one went on fine. <laughs> no, it's not okay, Judith. I should have that down by now, for gosh sakes. We're working on a clock one right now that is so cute. You are going to love it. And then we're going to be able to do all kinds of clocks. So this is the time to start gathering like Nancy is now. <laughs> gathering your uh, presents now so you have plenty of time. If you wait till the last minute, we're really, really busy and we may not have time to get everybody's done. So now's the time to think Christmas. So we're not rushed at the last minute. Look at that one. Ooh, look at how bright that is. Isn't that cute? I know. Jeannie in Jersey is saying that she's got the air conditioner going and keeping everything closed up. All right, now that I have all these done, I don't really need to cut the pink one. Jen's got some really nice new foils out, so if you get a chance, check them out. Try to use them when I can. But you need to let it dry about an hour. I shouldn't say dry, I should say set up and get tacky. See how tacky that is? That's what you want. I know, right? I absolutely adore these colors. Then we have an overlay that goes on top of this. Now, what do you think? You think black? Like I couldn't decide what color to paint the overlay. What's your thoughts on that one? Anybody have any? I know, right? Je Jeannie and PA is saying she loves these colors together. And you could also, she has some really nice high, high, what do you call that? Hologram ones. So you could even go the next step and, and put more adhesive on there and then do like the hologram. But I thought because we're going to have this on top of it, we really don't need that. Look at this one. Wait a minute. Which one does this go? Okay, it goes on this side. So there's that one. Then this one we're going to glue to this side. And then we're going to put the pink on. And that'll go right there. So what color do you think I should do those? And then we have Adeline. My granddaughter's name that's going to get glued there now you can put scrunchies on here you can put hair bows on here you can put the stretchy headbands on here we can also go ahead and add some real pretty ribbon down here okay to put barrettes you could even do the macrame on here we've done the macrame before you could also do that, but I'm thinking maybe just do her name in pink. What do you think? Pink? Who's voting for pink? And then what color do you vote that I paint the top of these with? Let's see. 
like I think this is too dark. The best way to test that one's too dark is on the back. So now like I could do orange over here. I could do yellow over here. What do you think? Okay, everybody's saying pink for the name. Okay, pink. But what color would you put on the top of this? actually calling 911 yesterday because of the smoke and it's like really I mean look at this one she has too out this new one this hologram that one's really cool this one, I love the colors in this. It, it's got the blue, it's got the brown, it's got some blue in there, it's got gray, it's got outlines of flowers. That's a really nice one. over in some spots. So what I'm going to do is going to start again with a nice clean piece. I may not have had enough um, foil adhesive on there so I may have to go back I am. I'm going to have to go back in those areas where it didn't come through and add some foil adhesive. But that's something I could do at the end. Look how pretty that's going to look. You could do this with glitter. You could do this with resin. You have so many options. Yes, a lot of issues left over from COVID. You are right. So definitely stay indoors. Thank you, Jude or Joanne. All right, so we're going to glue these down, and then you need to help me decide what color we're going to paint them. So we're using the stick fast. I'll probably be posting this week. Husband is making a beautiful desk and chair for my grandson for his birthday this month. And they are adorable. He's painting them blue. He's got one more day to finish it. I'm just kind of dotting this in places and it will hold. You only need a little bit here and there. I just don't want to put a whole bunch on this because then it'll get all over. You have a line, so you need to just follow your lines to set it down and in place. Oh crap, guess what I forgot to do, <laughs> put the final coat on them, the final coat kind of protects it, but nothing's going to be touching it anyhow, so, hello Marsha, 
Okay, that sounds like a plan. This only takes a couple minutes to dry. Mix it up then. I could take the smaller paintbrush and maybe <laughs> get in here. I knew I was forgetting something. I'm not going to be able to match the, the colors. This is called Final Coat. And this is the protectant coat that you put on the foil once it's in place. Kind of protects it. I have to go back. I did see you were contacting me, um, Nancy, and I did not get a chance to read your messages. We were waiting on the hospital. Hubby gets his knee done tomorrow, and we were waiting to hear from them, and they finally called. So, all right. So, let me go back. Um... Okay, unmatched, you think? Okay, so orange on the yellow. All right, let's try it. Um, let me kind of do the back. That doesn't look bad. So I think I think that's a good choice. So we'll do orange on the yellow. We'll just mix it up. And this one is, it just says orange on the um, Posca paint marker. Now, if we don't like it, we could even go back and paint over it. Even, even you know what, even some glitter resin would look pretty on this. I bet you that would. Also, if anybody has any ideas for some new products, something that you would love to see made for a gift or wreath attachment or whatever, please let me know. I think the glitter resin would have looked cute on this too. And it's easy to paint once it's on here. Once, once it's glued down is what I'm saying. All right. Um, let's see what else we got here. Know about the yellow on here. Let's just test a little bit on the back. Let me go ahead and glue these down. One more. There we go. Just like that. I don't know. I think I think it would have been cute too with uh just silver, like the white glitter on all of them. I think the glitter would have given it more dimension. If I don't like the colors, I could just white glitter on top of them too. All right, just 
don't want this sticking in my hand. New? No, it didn't. How are you doing, Marsha? These are so cute to make and easy, too. Plus, they make a great gift. I mean, these kids get so much nowadays, and the parents get overwhelmed with all the toys and this is something they could get hung on the wall and organize all their hair bows and stuff. Makes a great gift. And where can you get like personalized items that you can use? I've had this one for a while and just haven't had the time to set it up and get it painted. I'm thinking. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color this yellow, but then I don't know what I'm gonna do the flower. So what do you think I should do the flower? Should the flower be purple? And then I do white glitter over everything. So easy to paint these with the paint markers rather than paintbrush. <coughs> I think I'm going to close some windows after this. You know, it's weird. Usually there's a lot of traffic on my road and there is not much today. Well, the kids are out of school, so I'm sure a lot of them are staying home. School was out last week. Okay. What are you thinking so far? <clears throat> I don't want to do green on the flower, so what do you think? Oh, looks like we've got more. Okay. Purple? All right. Hello, Nanny Dot. Let's try purple. Then do green on the green. Maybe I should have done name in purple. really psychedelic. 
really bright. Excuse me. I've made her a few little hair bows. I'm wondering if I should have done this in purple, though. The name. I mean, I'll glue it down, and I'll either do it in purple, or I will leave it pink. Probably the best way to figure this out is use this line here as your guide. That looks about right. Oop, moved a little. There. All right. See, we could have also left it just the wood color at the top. Like if you were doing it on here, leave the wood color at the top and then um, just shellac this whole thing. I think that would be pretty. I plan on cutting the name on this one and doing this one too so everybody can see. That is going to touch. I should have cut it out first. Just try and stay away from that line. I just kind of like it on the the wood. After I painted it, I wished I would have just left it solid. Come on. Don't be stubborn. Guess we'll go with the darker green but I may like I said glitter these up I want to find some really nice roping to hang this with. I'm 
some pretty ribbon. I'm thinking we need to do this purple. I think purple would be prettier. To kind of pull this down so this looks like it belongs. You know what I mean? I know we got all kinds of purple foil somewhere here. Like, you see what I mean? I think I need to pull that purple down into the knee. That's what I think we're going to do. See? It does seem eerie. Jeannie's saying there's not much traffic where she's at either, and it just seems really eerie out. And it does. All right, let me see if I can kind of... Oh, we need the yellow. I'm just going to kind of pull from this one and see where I need to make my line so I don't get it on the pink. So actually, just right here. And I mean, Jeannie, you know how 220 is. It's... There's nothing out there. It is very eerie. I think people are staying indoors on purpose. And isn't it amazing? I mean, these fires are in Canada. And that wind is just blowing all that stuff right down here. on this one. Stuff in all this. You kind of don't want to rub over here on the other ones because this will put marks in the other foil so you kind of just want to stay in your area and if I don't get exactly to the edge this will cover it up there we go and I'm thinking this might even be cute to put that over it see that hologram we used this when we did the cat in the moon type thing. Yes, there is a severe hazard today. The <laughs> Nanny Dot said she quit smoking 30 years ago and she went to the bank today and it felt like was smoking again. I I can feel it in my I had to run a few errands this morning and it wasn't as bad as it is now but it's just so hazy out. I don't want to mess this up but I think this will make me feel better. I bring this to purple. See what I mean? It needs to be purple. And that paint marker is going right over the pink. And then if I want, I can go back over it with the uh, adhesive and put the purple foil on top. That way at least you all can kind of see what I mean, why I think it needed it. Okay. 
And really when you're foiling with the wood, it's not too bad, but like I had did this white. I mean, once you paint under it, sometimes the foil has takes on a different um, color. So. And I actually could get this in purple and do like pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. I think that would be cute too, right? Can you see my vision? There we go. Now it's coming out. That's better. I think I like that better. Let me just see something. I've got this that's kind of, yeah, I, I really want to do glitter on that. Let me just see what happens. Let me get my glue. Oh, you know what? Now that's puffy. I just want to try it out. Let's see if I would like it. Probably would like it better if it was resin and then it had the glitter in it. Now, there's some sticks. I just want to see what this will look like. I don't know. I could just let that dry and see how it looks when it's dry and see if that's the way I want to go. If not, I can always foil over it. Got some pink showing through here. I think I'm definitely going to foil this purple. So once this is all dry and I get all my color even, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to stay within camera. See right here? I don't know if you can see it. There, that's close. Do you kind of like it with that? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh no. So definitely I'm going to keep this the wood green. I have the other pieces out there, so I can't do that. 
See, look at that wood grain. I think that wood grain is beautiful. So then with these, you can hang their scrunchies from here, um, little bows from here, barrettes from here. So I would like do this. And then hang a bunch of these going down. And you know what? I'm going to get some purple ribbon. I'm going to get some purple and do pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. I think that'll be really pretty. And I'll decide. I kind of, I kind of like now that that's drying a little bit. I kind of like that look. So maybe that will turn it down enough because it's just, it's just too striking for me. Like I think it needs to be toned down a little bit. We won't know until we try it. Let's, thank you, Judith. Thank you, Joanne. Now what? There we go. Come on. Come out. There you go. Just using this to spread some glue on. Well, that goes on easy with a popsicle stick. Because girls got to have glitter. Yeah, it definitely needs the glitter. See it? Just enough to put a little bit of sparkle on it. You see what I'm saying? That glue, the white glue will dry, but I think that'll be pretty when it's all done. They came to pick up their dogs yesterday when they came home from the beach. And my granddaughter, she just mumbles away. She's hilarious. She thinks you know what she's saying. Yeah, see? It definitely needs to glitter. Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, it just needs a... The glitter is toning down the color a little bit. Why is this not coming out? Come on. I can feel you in there. Oops, we got a piece of foil in there. Just a little bit of sparkle. And see how easy it is to paint that with the popsicle stick? It just sparkles and little girls need sparkle and I'm gonna do it on all of them because they're just too bold for me colors on top. Yep, 
And then when it's dry, you won't even see the glue. Okay, everybody's in agreement. We love the glitter. Yay. See, originally I was going to do the clock today, but we're running out of the smaller pieces of wood. And I didn't want to use a big piece because we don't have a lot of the big pieces left. And they have to be cut by hubby. And since he's having his knee done, he, ha he can't show me how to cut one because it won't come in in time. So I'm going to have to work with the smaller pieces of wood until he's recovered. So I'm hoping to do the clock on Monday and have a few other clocks to show you of what we can do. We can make picture clocks. We can make character clocks. We can make whatever kind of clock you want, kit or otherwise. Thank you, Judith. We hope so too. <laughs> Yeah, the, the glitter is toning it down for me because I just think it's so stark. So I'm liking it with the glitter. It's just giving it a little punch. Which is all I want. This would make a cute birthday gift. The uh, did you see the the ones we did the tooth fairy door hangers? If you don't want to paint it? We'll paint them for you. We've got those too. make a cute gift. I really think it will. Can't wait to show you the, the desk that he's working on. Okay, let's do the orange. Love to see Nancy get a hold of this one. She would really jack it up. See, then I can take this and roll it up and put all that back in the container. Get out of the glitter. Yeah, it'll look prettier when it's dry. But I think that's really sharp, don't you? Just a little bit of punch. 
and then I'll do her name. Heck, we might be able to just leave that the way it is and put some glitter on her knee. Go Boulder, go home. Great. Thank you, Judith. She'll love it either way. Dabbing is better than scraping. Why did I find that out on the last part? <laughs> now let's get this out of there. There we go. <clears throat> Boy, it feels like it's closing in on your, your throat. <clears throat> I wonder how safe this is for all of us to be breathing this stuff. Yeah, then once it's dry. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. We're going with that. <clears throat> We could even use this for the top if we wanted to, but really thinner would be better. Ooh, ooh, wait. I don't know if this would look good. What do you think? think that would look good for a hanger? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and glue that to the board. And I'm thinking, take this, glue that in place, and we take this, and we'll glue that in place. What do you think? You think those two with each other? And then do pink again. And then do purple again. I think that will look pretty. Don't you? Yes. That'd be it. All right. That's what we'll do. And then I'll finish this one and leave it white or leave it the wood color. I left the other things in the other room. So I didn't want to hold you up. But I think that works. All right. Yes, Marcia says yes. <laughs> Jeannie gives a thumbs up. All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. I will see you all on Monday. I will try and give an update to everybody tomorrow, let you know how we're making out. He comes home on Friday, so hopefully everything will go good. Oh, my gosh, look at that. We could have put that on top of there, too. Oh my, we may have to use that under these, these overlays. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, I'll be messing with it some more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He's very anxious. We're both anxious for it to be over. He was going to have this done last year, and then he had some other health issues. 
that had to be taken care of. So we're finally in the home stretch. So we just want it to be over. <laughs> Both of us. <sighs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. All right, y'all have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me.